this weapon, or weapons, are called butterfly swords, not to be confused with butterfly knives. I started by, by cutting the handles off these two cheese spreading knives and put them in my vice grip. I put the blades together so I could grind them into shape and have them look the same. And I'm using this picture as a reference. Butterfly swords are a single edge short broadsword. I have a grinding wheel that I'm going to use to do this. And I'm going to start by grinding a, more of a clip point on these. And yes, that is my Bigfoot shirt. Hide and go seek champion Bigfoot shirt. I need to clip, clip the point a little bit and have the top of the blade come down a little bit. So it's not so rounded and more pointy. So this is going to be my own version of a butterfly sword. It's taken a while, but it's getting closer to the reference picture. This is going to be more of my, my version of a butterfly sword. Now that I got them into shape, I can finish up by pulling them apart and giving them an edge and kind of cleaning up the grinding spots. I found a couple of metal pieces to use for the handguard. Unfortunately, I didn't have one long enough to be the complete handguard, so I'm using two pieces. And it's not going to be a complete D-ring handguard. Took a little while. But I finally got the tang through the handguard pieces, and it's going to hold really well. I used some popsicle stick wood to create wood handles for these. The tang of these will sit into the pieces. To keep the tang from uh, slipping out, I'm going to fill some of these gaps with uh, baking soda and super glue. And this will hold it in really well. After a lot of grind grinding and sanding, they're coming into shape. And they're looking really nice. I bent the hand guards around. They don't completely go to the end, but it's close enough. And like I said, this is going to be more of a, my version of. To make scabbards, I'm going to use some popsicle sticks or jumbo craft sticks. And for this, I traced around the, the blade. I did this with four pieces of popsicle stick. I clamped all four pieces together and sanded in, into shape. That way they look the same. This is really turning out nice. I also use some baking soda to fill in the gaps. For this round edge, I had to split some uh, coffee stir sticks to create that curve. These turned out pretty well. And as soon, soon as I finish sanding the edges, it's going to look really nice. For another weapon to go with his arsenal, I'm going to create some little throwing darts are bow shurikens, like this picture here. I'm going to use some aluminum tape and some leather to make a uh, sheath for the bow shurikens. And these will fit onto the scabbards of the swords on each side of his leg. I also wanted to create a bandolier with more uh, bow shurikens. So I cut down more bamboo skewers, or wrapped tape around them to create this bandolier, and covered it with leather. I use my Sharpie marker to color the bamboo skewers black. And now that he's complete, he looks pretty awesome. I like the way his scabbards came out for his butterfly swords. I use some black ribbon to create some loops to fit on his leg. The bow shurikens fit nicely in there. He could grab them and throw them very quickly. These fit right in here, and they fit pretty snug so they won't just fall out. That's turned out pretty nice. Uh, I found a small buckle to use for his belt. And the bandolier of his bow shurikens fit onto his, uh, his sword. This is one of these swords I created a while back. It's a ninja sword. The square handguard. This is one of the first ninja swords I made. And it turned out pretty good. And it looks nice on him. I decided not to wrap the handles. So I just colored them black on my black sharpie. And the blades are kind of uh, scratched and dinged up, which I kind of like that look. Since it's not supposed to be uh, brand new, it's supposed to look used. With his gung-ho grip hands, he holds these pretty well. And they don't fall out. That's one of the problems I ran into by making metal weapons for my G.I. Joes, is that they would be too heavy for their hands to hold and they'd fall out all the time. But these turned out pretty well. I am rather pleased with them. They 
I think he turned out really well. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What is your favorite ninja weapon? Or do you have one? Or what is your favorite martial art weapon? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do videos like this all the time. If you like this video, make sure you click that like button. It really helps my channel out. And don't forget to collect, inspire, and create. I'll see you in the next one. If only I could go back in time, I tell myself that everything will end up alright.